Hey everybody again, it's Dicebag and welcome back to the Battle Brothers playthrough. Now, since the last one I picked up a couple batches of copper ingots, figuring I could make a profit on them, but right now I'm in a different city and I don't think I want to sell them for this cheap, but I've also kind of put myself in a bind by buying them in the first place so we're gonna have to take up a contract and I think I've got one that I can do that's not the one let's see here it is <clears throat> this is a pretty simple brigand mission now this one here is easy normally it's just a find a landmark but it says it's somewhere region out of the chill and flatland some way to the northwest well Let's check out the Northwest. Oh, wait. Wait, look, what's this up here Northwest? A bunch of water and an island that I'll have to go all the way around here to go through this little area. And that's the only way I can get there. That's not worth my time. That's a bad decision. Even though it's an easy mission, I'm going to run out of food or money or something like that in the process. And I don't want to do that. Oh, that's the same one. Okay, this is the one where we fight the brigands. And we're going to take this and go kill us some bandits. Where are they? Okay, there's the tracks. We're off to kill some brigands. And it's getting dark already. Dang it. I was hoping... And this wouldn't take that long. Also, if I go up here and look at how much crowns I have, it says I say I'll pay out 70, but I pay out 87 crowns per day. That's an awful lot for, oh, hello. Anyways, that's an awful lot for such er, being so early in the game. What have we got here? I don't remember this one. Godfrey the Impaler, always the sort to take on one of the company, take one for the company. Seems to have single-handedly helped the resolve of the men, as one sell sword explains it. I don't know how to explain it. Well, <laughs> okay. As another more articulate mercenary says, it's like he's more than just a sword for hire, you know. He's someone we can depend on like a brother, but not a whole brother, obviously. More like a half-brother. A bro, if you will. Like a battle brother? Anyways... Okay, uh, Okay, I guess this guy just is a good dude and he makes people happy. I guess that's the gist of it. But we got some stats actually from this little event. So that's cool. And just in time for dawn, here are the thugs. And we seem to be in pretty decent fighting shape. Although, oh, I need to do this. I need to do this. There. This is this is the optimal formation here. We got spear, axe, spear, axe, spear. That way there's not really a place in between the guys where they can get away with not getting spear walled. Also, what's this? Where is... This is the tank. Okay. Well, we need to swap this out. You should be using the axe there, and you should be using the spear. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. That's good. That's the way we like it. And let's go kill these guys. <clears throat> Ooh, he's got a pitchfork. I want that. Let's see. That looks like basically the only thing that's really worth salvaging from these dudes. So we're going to have these two delay their turns and let them get in. Looks like most of them are going to move before my guys, and that's actually not bad. Because we can spear wall after them. And he's not going to do anything. And spear wall and nothing. 
and spear wall. Now I wish this guy moved up because I want to shoot him first, but alas, good shot, good shot. And you, let's see, this is probably the more dangerous guy here. Oh, we're on a good start. Uh, do we want to... Yeah, we want to get in this guy because he can attack from two spaces away. Ha! Hit him in the helmet. That's his toughest part. This guy's gonna charge the spear wall, and the other guys are just gonna wait. Uh, who do we want to kill first? Probably this guy. We're getting good shots here. Now he's not even gonna charge. Now we can take a couple pot shots here. No hits there. There goes my luck. What happened there? I don't even know how that guy died. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'll take it. Anyways, we'll move this guy over here. Spear wall again. Spear wall. See, the thing is, when you spear wall in the first turn, they always follow up by delaying their turns. So your your guys get to take their turns and their spear wall wears off. And then in order to keep the spear wall up, they have to do it a second time. That's how it works. That's the smart play because it makes me do spear wall twice, which accumulates more fatigue. But I think against these guys, double spear wall. Oh, that's a bad thing. Oh, no. Oh, uh, this is a... Uh... Yeah, I didn't notice this guy had a knife, too. That's That sucks. Anyways, he's dead. He's running. Dang it. Mm. This guy is really dangerous, but I want to kill this guy. <laughs> oh, okay. Good choice, good choice. Now half of them are trying to run away. We basically already won. Except these guys are... Uh, not having that. Which one do we want to take out first? Ah, uh, good shots. But... Okay. Good dodges too. Good shots, good dodges. 29, that's not a very good chance to hit. Oh, 49, that's basically a coin flip. Let's see if we can hit him. Nope. Anyways, you go over there and try to stop him from running away because I want his stuff. And he's pretty much dead. And there's another one down. And that guy's almost ready to run. Or maybe not almost. He's actually pretty brave compared to these other guys. Ooh, he got... He got some of his resolve back. Let's see if we can finish him off. 39%. Yeah, I didn't think that would hit. Ooh, that guy's taking a beating. Um, let's see. Good, good. Yeah, he's going to try and run away. I don't think we can catch up to him, but we'll try. And he's down. And we'll try to run him down. Let's see, we can get there. That's still not close enough. 
Dang it. Yeah, I think I should have just let him go. Looks like that's what we'll have to do. So we'll just pass turns. And let him run like a wimp. Pass, pass. Get out of here. And lots of level gains. Pretty much everyone who didn't gain a level in the last one gained one this time. I'd say that was a pretty good success. <laughs> Ooh. We're being tempted to betray our employer. Yeah, I, th I don't think we'll do that. We need to make friends. See, my first ambition here is to get friendly with somebody. So we don't want to go around betraying people at this point. Now, let's see. Let's see what have we got here. Uh, yeah. Looks like this guy's going to be one of our uh, flanks. So we're going to title him the flank. <clears throat> and the flanks are basically all about controlling the battlefield and taking hits when other people can't take hits. So we're going to get Colossus to increase their hit points, make them more survivable. They get their shields and spears, lets them do the knockback so they can move people around and the spear wall to keep the other guys off their backs. And we're going to dump points into the melee skills so their melee weapons aren't completely ineffective and then pump their defenses so they don't take any damage. Let's see, this guy's probably going to be the same thing. Yeah, usually that's what we're going to go with. He might need a little extra fatigue, but right now we're just going to do the standard thing. Colossus. And this is our tank, Valdemar. The other tank, at least, the main one. So he's going to get fast adaptation. Let's see, he's got the... He's got a talent for melee skill, so that's a good one. Uh, what else do we need? He's not, not getting good bonuses in these, so we're just going to stick it in. Melee, defense, and maximum fatigue. Elmer. He's going to be a... Blank as well. And so we give him Colossus. He's got a talent for defense there. Or range defense. So actually, we might want to... This guy's injured again. <laughs> oh man, he's... He's going to be practically useless. I'm surprised he's still alive. What is, he hasn't taken a whole lot of damage. This guy has got half his hit points gone. Anyways, Herman the Slow. Oh look, he's dumb. No wonder it took him so long to gain a level. And not a whole lot, so we'll stick it in that. Let's see. And we want crippling strikes for this guy. We're going to have to get him a better weapon. He needs to upgrade to a crossbow or a javelins or something. <clears throat> okay. Oh, wait, wait. That's right. Let's see. Yeah, him. We have a pitchfork. So he'll put that in his sidearm slot. And once he gains another level... He'll be able to switch back and forth between that and his crossbow at the drop of a hat. And that will be nice. And now we're getting a little more for the copper ingots. Might as well dump them now. It's not a big bonus, but it is better. 
All right, that puts us in a much better place with our money. Jeez, look at how expensive the tools are. 375. I need tools. <laughs> I don't want to spend that much money on though. We'll buy some uh, some oatmeal though. What else have we got? We probably can't take on another mission for a little while. Yeah, we basically need to sit out for like at least two days. I guess that means we're going to kind of wander around a little bit. So, what's this? White Blick. We haven't been to this place yet, so we'll see what they got. Maybe they'll have an easy contract for us. <laughs> nope. Ah, they want us to hunt down some monsters. For 340, we're not going to do that one right now. They got a weaponsmith, though. That's always good. Let's see what they got in stock. Really expensive stuff. This is what we want to work up to, though. The longsword. That's kind of the early game goal is to get some longswords. At least for me. Longswords are a very good weapon for your tanks. Because they can deal damage to guys, multiple guys that are adjacent to you. Or they can deal damage in a line. So they're really good at just... They're really versatile, I guess. Let's see. War brands do basically the same thing, but they're not really as good, I don't think. <clears throat> I mean... They're costed at a higher rate than this longsword, but I, I prefer the longsword myself. Anyways, what is at the marketplace? 247 for tools? That's much better. Might as well pick some up while we're here. But we're gonna have to move on. Hmm, where to next? Citadel and a citadel. Uh, this is putting us in a problem. These two places are both fortifications, which basically means the only way you can get any contracts there is if you're in good with the noble houses. And I am not. And that's a stone keep. Ah, oh, geez. All three of these right here, I can't get contracts from. I can go there though. I can just pass these guys by and get to Laurenbrook, but that's going to be annoying that there's going to be like <clears throat> this big drought of contracts in this area for the map. So we'll head down here and then go to Laurenbrook after that. And hopefully we don't get ambushed for one thing by brigands okay they're leaving us alone <laughs> but also hopefully uh, we'll get some decent contracts and our injuries will go away one of them is gone that's good pierced chest pierced hand is still two days minimum <clears throat> yes yeah, see contracts locked Ugh. This looks like a pretty good settlement, though. It's got a weaponsmith and an armorer. I'll probably be coming back here when I need to, when I get more money and need to outfit my dudes with better equipment. Two fifty for tools and supplies. I should have waited. Much cheaper here. They've probably got some good dudes to hire too, but I'm poor right now. Okay, hopefully these guys have something for me to do. What have we got? Oh, good. 60 crowns in advance, 230 when it's done. Okay, okay. Some way to the east. Okay, so what do we have to the east? Mm -hmm. 
you know what, this will probably be an easy mission just because there's mountains here, and mountains increase your range of view. I could probably just go up here and find it automatically. So, that's what we're gonna do. And we shouldn't have to fight anything at all. Blah blah blah. Lots of people want me to betray my employers this time around. Okay, come on. No, we're at we're at the low speed setting. Hmm. We're not seeing much. Anyways, we're gonna. Usually, I'd stop for the night. Oh well, there it is, right there. I was gonna say usually I'd stop for the night because your view range is really bad. But I wanted to get up to the mountain so we could see it right away. But we didn't need to. We'll just head back. Run, 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 run. Run, little men, run! Let's see. Pierce chest, Pierce hand. They're almost healed. They're almost healed. They can almost. Our employer will learn where it is. 300. All right. Let's see, we probably haven't hit midday yet. Nah. We do want to get some food though. We got some mushrooms. Mm, not much else that we really need at this place so we're gonna move on <clears throat> you know I was just thinking seems to be a real big imbalance in the amount in the noble houses here oh wait those are different. <laughs> They're the same colors, I thought they were the same. So yeah, what, well, like five of that one, six of the other one, and then a bunch of those. Okay. Maybe don't make your banners the same freaking color, game designers. That's your fault. All right, what have we got here? Okay, I think this is a drive-off brigands sort of thing. We might be able to do this if our team is healed. Uh, and Sigbold is still got his pierced hand. 20% reduction in melee skill is not crippling, though. We might be able to do this. Can't really get a new crossbow yet, though. That kind of sucks. All right, we'll take it. Oh, dang. Way over there. Okay, we're going to have to walk through the forest and the swamps. Uh Trudging. And then we're gonna have to wait till morning when we get there because I ain't fighting in the dark when I've got bowmen and it's dawn. Okay, let's see. Are we good? We good to go? I could wait for him to. I mean, I could wait for it to trigger another thingamajig, or another day, but I don't really want to wait that long. <clears throat> okay, seven on seven. We can do this. Wait, wait, and he waits. Oh, that sucks. We're going to have to take that... Uh, 
Mm, what? How are we gonna do this? Yeah, we're gonna. We'll delay, and then we'll put this guy in spear wall, and then this. Yeah, we can delay these guys too. Then you takes oh one shot. That was nice. That was nicely done. Okay. Take a shot at that guy. Now hit somebody else. We'll take it. But, uh, we're just gonna have to have him wait, and then we'll move him down, we'll move him down and spear wall, then we'll move him up. And they're going to do their usual thing and wait a turn. <laughs> that guy just keeps getting hit, even though he's hiding in the bushes. Stray arrows just whiz right into his brain. Oh, we're murdering these guys. Uh, yeah, we don't want him to do anything yet, but we're going to have him spear wall, and raise the spear wall, and more spear wall. <laughs> oh, he got in. That's okay. Oh, come on, 77% chance. And that's what I get. Now he's dead. You know, I haven't seen a lot of guys run so easily in a long time. I'm actually doing pretty well in this campaign. Yeah, we'll keep up the shield wall, I guess. This guy ain't nothing. I could have at least hit him in the head or something. Come on. <clears throat> okay, let's go in here. Off with his head. And get him on the high ground. Um, not many good choices there. Also there. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to take a couple shots at this guy. And hope we get lucky. Dude, he's got a... Oh, he's a raider. I didn't even notice that. He's got a good spear. Hopefully I can pick that up because that's a good thing to get in the early game. Oh, this guy shield wall so he can just stall for a turn. Oh, you're gonna shield wall too. And he's out. Fortunately, we destroyed his armor, so it's not really going to be helpful. And good, we won. We freaking won. Now we just have to actually kill him.
Uh, okay. Yes, yes. Go to the next turn. Oh, come on. Got like an 80% chance to hit this guy. Okay. And nobody gained a level. Dang it. And we didn't get the good spear. Ah. What a disappointment. I don't know what criteria it uses for that. <laughs> Let's see, what else if we we did get a good or better armor. This guy can use an upgrade. <laughs> and the cap isn't really an upgrade for anything. I really need to get another two-handed weapon for our other tank there. Eh. Big spiders. They don't seem to be aggressive though. Probably because they're outnumbered. And back to Elkshorn. At 330 crowns. Let's see, what do we got here? Really overpriced wood. A woodcutter's axe. Uh, that's really expensive. And I'm probably just going to replace him pretty quick anyways. I'd much rather have a better weapon. They are selling it for under the worth though. I don't know, I'd probably just replace it. Now on the brass side, they've got cheap food. Hmm. Let's see, what else can we get rid of? I never use pickaxes. Usually don't use short short swords. So we'll throw those out. Actually Bludgeons are probably better than axes because they can stun things. And we could use some more ammo, too. Is that all we need? I think that's all we need from here. Time to move on to the next place. Where else can we go? Okay, a large city down here. That's... That's a good place to go, I think. We got, like, a tiny village around here. <clears throat> Well, we'll see if the big city has something for us first. And we got one contract. An easy one. 130. 140. Day West. Okay, well, that's the way I'm going to go anyways. But... You know what, I gotta wait till morning before I do anything anyways, so I'm just gonna take it, deliver it, and then come back. Maybe there'll be something else in the other place. Doesn't have much else to do there anyways, just got an armorer. <clears throat> oh, are you freaking kidding me? Uh, seven on eight. We got some guys with some pretty good equipment over there. I think this is a this is a retreat scenario. <clears throat> We're definitely running from these guys. This is one of the annoying things about the game, I have to admit. <clears throat> Whenever you want to run from something, you could go up here. And click the retreat from combat button, and it'll just make your guys run automatically. But they always break formation and run in random directions, and usually somebody gets caught and killed in the process. So, I don't want to do that. Instead, I'm just going to have them retreat one by one in formation. And that usually ends up with a surviving completely intact but it's annoyingly long 
because you have to wait for everybody to go through their turns. <clears throat> uh, it is a leisure game. Good thing about this is you, you don't have to devote a lot of time to it all at once. That's all I can say. You can play it for a long time, but you don't have to. You can just jump on, do a couple missions, and then go. Or you can sit back and just really take the time to enjoy it. That's probably why I play this game so much. Let's see, this guy can make it right to the end. And next turn, we should be able to retreat. And over there. <clears throat> and by the way, if any of you start playing this game, you people watching, you're going to want to go into the options and go for like, click on options like faster AI movement and faster turns, things like that, because it's really slow. What? Ah, oh, dang it, I forgot to double click on that guy. That sucks. That's not good. He might be in trouble. Get out of there, dude. Oh, man, that's not good. Oh, that's bad. Oh, he's dead. He's freaking dead. Oh, we're gonna lose this guy. And all his stuff. <clears throat> yeah, he's dead. He's freaking dead. That sucks. That's terrible. I think that was my first major mistake in this whole campaign. Oh, that, that's a feel-bad moment, man. That shouldn't have happened, but it did. Uh, and for 140 crowns, wonderful. 160 for this one. Day East. Yeah, they want us to take a caravan back through the place we just were at with all those brigands that we just ran from. That sucks. That's going to put a damper on going back to the other place. We're going to have to go somewhere else. That's a Mountain Bailey, so that's a fortification. That's a stone keep. There's literally nowhere else to go where I can get contracts. Unless I want to... That's a fortification too. We're in a bad spot here. We're going to have to like go off the road <laughs> to avoid things. That's going to make this a long trip. Well, we can get to Westerholes. Hopefully without incident. I don't think there were any contracts over there that we actually needed we're gonna have to replace that one dude though that sucks now our guys are in a bad mood lost a battle Godfrey the flank died suffered an injury everyone's in a bad mood <clears throat> and and here we are. Now this town isn't as big as I thought it was. Hunt down webnecks at two schools. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Finding people and solving problems. He wants me to track down some guys. We might be able to do that if we got a. None of these guys look especially great. Oh, man. Losing that one dude wasn't just losing a dude. We also lost 
His nice helmet, his armor, his equipment, his shield. Oh man. That was a that was a setback. Might have to just kinda wander around doing cheap work for a little bit. Although we got plenty of weapons and stuff, we really just need to replace the armor. And there's no good armor here. <clears throat> so, let's see. Kraken wider. We can go over there. Okay, so we just got the one fortification here in this corner of the map. <clears throat> let's see if this place has anything for us. Hmm, two contracts, uh, caravan, <clears throat> yeah, this probably ain't gonna work out. Two days north, that's a long trip that we don't want to be tied down to, but this is just a package delivery. We could probably do this just fine. A northwest by road, I'm gonna take that right now. And this is probably a good time to end this little episode here. So I'm going to do that. And I'll do some of the boring downtime off screen. And see you guys next time.